Today's topic is isotherms. You will need to have page 18 and page 19 of your notes while you're watching this video. So isotherms are very similar to what we talked about early, earlier in the year with topographic maps and contour lines. Because this term isotherm, the therm part is going to be referring to like a thermometer. And thermometers measure temperature. Okay, so isotherms are going to be lines that connect points of equal temperature. When we did topographic maps earlier in the year, we were connecting points of equal elevation. So this term isotherm, same temperature basically, lines that connect points of equal temperature. So we're going to start by looking at this temperature field where we have a bunch of temperatures across the United States. And since the directions say to draw isotherms at 10 degree intervals, we want to look for like the whole numbers, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on. And the other thing we want to check the whole situation. So it's about 24, 25 up here in Canada. But as we travel south, we see the temperatures are going up. And we have the high down here in Florida with 80 and 85. And if we start with 30 here, we want to connect 30 to the 30 that's here. Between 28 and 32 would be a line for 30. This 32 is higher in temperature again, so we're going to go above 30. And we're going to head towards, we have 29 and 35. 29 is colder. So we're going to take that over to the edge of the map and then just take this line over to the edge of the map like this. And this will be 30 degrees Fahrenheit. So we've essentially separated all of the temperatures that are colder than 30 from all of those that are higher than 30. So that's the concept. We're connecting those points that are the same. We're separating the higher temperatures from the lower temperatures. Once this pattern is established, we should be looking for that same pattern as we draw the rest of these isotherms. So we have a 40 on this side. I can see 41s, 39, 30s, 30s, 30s. This 40 really drops down across the center of the country. So pay attention to that. So we're going to go between 39 and 41. Between 38 and 42 would be a line for 40. Picking up the 40 degrees, keeping everything that's colder than 40 to the north of the line or above the line, and we'll label that 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we look for 50 would be our next multiple of 10. So again, the pattern has been established. We're going to be dropping down here. Separating anything higher than 50 will be going to the north side of the line or above the line. And anything, anything lower than 50 above the line, anything higher than 50 above below the line. Now, we don't have any more, we don't have any 60s in Mexico, so we can leave it at that. But we do have a 60 here in the southeast. So we do need to address that 60. So I'm going to use the pattern that was established by the 50 and just say that 60 is going to head someplace down below. The next number that we have is 80, but between 60 and 80 there would be 70. So we're just going to interpret about where the 70 line would go. And then our 80 would be here. So like, so we have these lines, isotherms, connecting the points of equal elevation. We'll be practicing more of this in class.